Hey guys, Terrible Acorn 13 here, back in Destiny with your Zer Day video for this week. So, he is up here in the bar, hanging by the Cabal Shields. So, starting at the bottom, we have a Plasma Drive and Stealth Drive for upgrading those Sparrows. Three Heavy Ammo Simps for a Strange Coin. Five Three of Coins for seven Strange Coins. Three Glass Needles for all the jazz you see on the screen there. And a Mode of Light for two Strange Coins. Now Titans, you have the Imperium Bellicose. Now it gives you the ability to aim your weapon while airborne and hold yourself in place. And when your super is full, orbs recharge your melee. Now for PvE, this is pretty much a skip. You've got Rune Wings and Same 14, which totally outclass this. For PvP, however, it can be a fun exotic, allowing you to out duke snipers while airborne. Jump, aim, they'll lead you, they'll miss, you shoot them, you win. There is many, many PvP montages out there called Sky Snipe Montages, well worth looking into. So, it's a fun PvP exotic, and also very, very pretty, so well worth picking up if you have the coins to spare. Hunters, you get the Skyburners Annex. Now this gives you a chance to create orbs with heavy weapons kills, and when super is full, orbs may grant special ammo. Now my problem with this exotic is chance to create and may grant. So there is no definite benefit to this, it's no 100%. In PvE, it's, I think, pretty much a no-go. There's no need to be creating orbs and specials normally plentiful enough. The only thing that I can see it being useful for is maybe in PvP, allowing you to pick up orbs and get yourself some more special ammo. But in PvP, you're probably going to want to use your super, so... Yeah, it's unless you're a collector that wants it for your collection, you can probably skip this one. Warlocks, you get the Alchemist's Raiment. Skip, skip, skip. The chance to pick up Glimmer is so low, it's almost not worth bothering about. And the super giving you grenades and melee, well, maybe Sunsingers who are holding on to the supers for self res, allowing you to have more grenade charges, but. Apart from that, the only really redeeming factor it has is that when you come up here, it's special and heavy are just general special and heavy ammo. So, I suppose that's a plus. And it is naturally a very, very pretty looking piece of armour. So, collectors can pick it up. But otherwise, you can skip. The weapon this week is the Thunderlord. Now, this is a solid machine gun. Great for running strikes and stuff like this, especially if you're going to be going up against large mobs or a boss with a big hitbox that you can just unload round after round into his face. For the raid, you'll be using other exotics, so this exotic slot will be not free. And for PvP, you're generally killing people in a few rounds, so the main perk on it isn't going to kick in. But it's a solid machine gun, well worth having and well worth picking up. The legacy engram this week is the body armor engram, so that's for your year one body armors for collectors. That being said, you can pick up a year one piece of armor that has come forward to year two, and you will then be able to buy it in your blueprint, but this is year one only. So that's your Zera inventory for this week. Not the greatest in the world, but hey, what can you say? I hope you've enjoyed the video, Guardians. As always, like and subscribe. For more Destiny content, and until next time, laters!